Hey everyone, you're watching the Esperanza 243. And today is a book reading video. I should have done it yesterday, but hey. Um, and I didn't bother trying to see if I could do a more than 15 minute video on Friday. Because I realized that it probably is time where I should stop doing the vlogs. Because... Even if I did condense, it would still be over 15 minutes. And I don't really want to delete any of my videos. <laughs> Alright, um... I did go, go through all my vlogs, though, uh, checking for all the book reading materials. And, uh... There are three vlogs... Uh, there are three vlogs and one video where I did some book reading. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it in order um, so that you guys can start so that if any of you want to start from the beginning to read those parts of my vlogs. So the first one is September 16th, 9-16 and skip to 22 minutes. 2-2. Two, two. Um, the next one is my Total upload video count, read the script, uh, skip to 7.2, sorry, 7.2, 7 minutes and 25 seconds. Hi, Dee Dee. My dog's outside. Um, yeah, 7 minutes and 25 seconds skip to that. Um, the next video is September 23rd, 923 and skip to 25 minutes and 15 seconds. Um, and the next one is October 14th, 1014 and skip to 17 minutes and 55 seconds. So that is no more of what I'm going to say. Actually, I want to say one more thing. Um, remember, I am doing my... I am not doing vlogs. I am doing blogs now. B. L-O-G. Blogs. Go to my site, princessamatrin.blogspot.com Amatrin, A-M-E-T-R-I-N-E and I hope you guys realize Amatrin is also a gemstone. Can you figure out the relation? Um. <laughs> hmm. Princess Amatrin. Hmm. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that because. Oops. Ooh, yikes. Okay, um, let's get to reading. And as before, like I said before, I'm not going to do a debriefing this time because I really want to get some reading up. I really want to get some of this reading done, as I'm sure some of you do. Oh, my dog wants to come inside. This won't take but 10 seconds. No, don't count. Excuse me. <laughs> now remembering things from yesterday. Um, let's get to reading, shall we? How much time do I have left? Ugh. 
See, that's why I said, do you want to come in? All right, let's get to reading. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Garnett murmured. Wow, you just woke up? I figured you'd out be on the rocks by now. Her eyes wide, uh, Garnet's eyes widened. Marion, hi! Where are you? Did you bring any long shirts with you? She asked, nearly crying out. Marion pulled the shell away from her. Uh, oh, sorry. Marion pulled the shell away from her ear. Calm down, Garnet. I'm out on the rocks at the top. I didn't bring any shirts, but I did bring a towel. Oh, good. I'll be there in a minute, she said. She put, she put down her shell and swam out of the waterlogged cave. She soon saw Marion out on the edge of the beach. She waved to her and kept swimming. She reached the rocks. She, she reached the rocks and tried climbing. Sheesh, Garnet, let me help you up. She said, reaching down. I got it. I've been climbing like this since yesterday. She reached the top, almost breaking a sweat. Wow, didn't think it would be that easy. Marion laughed. I guess you're getting used to being a mermaid. <clears throat> she thought for a minute. Here, use my towel. You can dry up. She handed it to her. Garnet took the towel, turned on her back, and patted her tail dry. She turned on her stomach and let the sun <clears throat> she turned on her stomach and let the sun dry the rest. Thanks, Marion, she said, putting the towel aside. She smiled. Her cousin smiled back. <clears throat> It's going to take some time getting used to this, she murmured. She was about to take the towel back, but Garnett stopped her. Garnett chuckled. You're not going to believe this, but my tail is almost dry. What does that mean? Good grief, Aunt Kaylee didn't tell you. Just wait. A few minutes later, her tail was completely dry. The tail started shining and turned into legs. Marion gasped. Oh my gosh, she whispered. Garnett giggled and wrapped the towel around her. I told you you weren't going to believe this. What do you think? It's incredible. You can come out whenever you want. Oh, now I'm jealous. I wish I was a mermaid. Garnett laughed. Careful what you wish for, cousin, she said. Besides, cooking is your dream. You don't want the rest of the you don't want the rest of the state to wonder where the best cook is. They laughed. Very funny, Garnet. Did you bring anything else? She pulled out a bucket. I brought this to make a sand castle. She paused and looked at her cousin. Garnett had this eager look, like she had a brilliant idea. But it looks like you know a good use for it. Do you want it? <laughs> oh, would I? That would help out with what I'm doing tonight. It doesn't have to do with those men, does it? Marion's, Marion's eyes were wide. Garnett nodded. It does, Mary. I'm going to take some of those things out when the room is empty. The two boxes should be empty by the time the night is over. That's what you're doing? She cried. Garnett shushed her, looking above the rocky area. People will think you're not alone. She looked around and then towards the sun. Ooh, sorry. Uh... She looked around and then towards the sun. 
Uh-oh. She looked up Marion. What time is it, Marion? She looked at her wrist. It's a little after one. What's going on? I'm meeting someone at two. She looked around. She stepped down a couple of rocks and then stood up. She left the towel on the rocks. Come on, I want to show you something. Her cousin hesitated. Come on, it's not going to take long. She dived into the ocean, and her legs changed to a tail. She continued beckoning Marion to come in. Finally, she took her swim cover and watch off, stood up, and dived into the ocean. She stuck her head out. Oh, wow, it's not as cold as it was two days ago. It's possible I warmed it up. They laugh. Want to see why it's so cool being a mermaid? Her cousin nodded. She stuck out her hand. Hold on. Marion grabbed her hand. Now hold your breath and just watch. The next thing she knew, she and Garnett were underwater. She was swimming her best against the current. Um, Marion looked around, admiring the blue-green waters. They could see seaweed, coral reef, and then... <laughs> I always have trouble saying that word. They could see seaweed, coral reef, anemones, and all kinds of fish. It was beautiful. Two different schools of fish were passing them. It's so beautiful, Garnett said. Her, her cousin nodded. Marion tapped on her shoulder. What? Oh, sorry. It's so beautiful, Garnett said. Her cousin nodded. Marion tapped on her shoulder. What? She pointed to the surface. Oh, right. They swam to the open air. Marion gasped. Wait. Uh, they swam to the open air. It was quiet for a while. Sorry guys, I'm changing something. I should have done this yesterday. They swam to the open air. I don't get it. Marion said. I was actually breathing underwater. Sorry, guys. Um, I don't get it, Marion said. I was actually breathing underwater. Garnett shrugged. Maybe it was because you were holding my hand. Uh, maybe it was because you were holding my hand. Marion shrugged too.
Who knows? It was quiet for a while. Wow, that was amazing down there. I can see why you wouldn't want to leave. There's so much beauty. And that is where I'm going to stop. Sorry guys, I went over a little bit. So, I will see you guys next week, or not next week, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for another book reading. So, I will see you then. This is DS Bronze at 243, signing off.